Hi guys, are you about to make your vision board for 2022 and you're wondering how do I make a vision board that actually works? I want you to stay tuned and watch this video so you can learn how to create a vision board that works for you. I am Dr. Tiffany Shelton Mariel. I'm the manifesting psychologist. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my manifestation videos that I post every single week. And follow me on Instagram, underscore Tiffany Shelton, for daily manifestation motivation. Okay, by the end of this video, you're going to know three unexpected tips that not many people talk about when it comes to creating a vision board that actually works. Okay, so first you should know I already have two videos, or well, three really, but two videos on how to when it comes to vision boards. One is exactly how to create a vision board that works and kind of walks you through the pre-work and like the fundamentals of creating a vision board that works based on the law of attraction. I'll link that below. I also have a video on how to create a digital vision board, which I'll also link below. In this video, since we're about to go into the new year, I want to kind of come up here, do an updated video on vision boards and give you three tips that not many people talk about when it comes to creating a vision board that are going to help you up level your um, vision board, create a vision board that works and works for you. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is to focus on how you want to show up on your journey. Lots of people focus, and I talked about this in my video last week on uh, my vision board for this year came true. Let me just get these braids together. Um, oh child. Uh, I talked about in that video how lots of people focus on material things when they're creating their vision board. And what I like to focus on, which really helps me get to those material things and even those non-material goals that I have, is to focus on how I want to show up on my journey to getting those things. I want to. I like to focus on a lot of the things that I not only can control, but how do I want to be? How do I want to exist? How do I want to feel on the journey to get to those things? Because so often we can focus on, let me, sorry, my camera died. Let me just get a car. Let me just get a house. But they don't uh, like envision how they want to get there, how they want to feel getting there, how they want to show up in the world as they get there. And I have found on my vision boards that has been a very powerful um, vision to put into my unconscious mind to help me get there, right? Because it's that day to day to help us move towards those goals. And if we're only focused on the outcome, we're not focused on the journey, then we can miss a lot on the on the way there and actually get those things and and not be fulfilled or not even end up getting those things at all because we're miserable and that kind of detracts we start negatively attracting so if you watch a lot of my videos you know what i mean by that if not <laughs> i'll link some stuff below that can help you understand how enjoying the journey vibrating high manifesting happiness is going to help you manifest all your other goals so i would say also include things on your vision board that um, embody how you want to show up and how you want to feel on your way to getting those material things. Another thing that people don't usually do or talk about when it comes to vision boards is putting pictures of yourself. And you might say, well, if I, it's a picture of myself, it's from the past. I don't want to, I'm, I'm envisioning things for my future. Um, but a good thing for your subconscious mind is to see yourself doing those things to see yourself so like for instance this year on my vision board I talked about in my last video how I want to meditate every day I put a picture of myself sitting on my meditation cushion and meditating so that can really get into my unconscious subconscious mind of seeing myself meditating and already envisioning that for myself so you see yourself kind of already doing that you see your abundance now and it kind of gets you into that I also put pictures of me and my family because I had a lot of family goals this year as well so if you put pictures on yourself that's going to help your subconscious wrap around that idea of envisioning yourself as already having those things and it will just be like kind of automatic because in your mind you, you, pictures are so powerful you already have it okay and um, the third thing about vision boards that people don't want to talk that don't usually talk about um is i want you to make it beautiful and easy on your eyes so some people can do like collages of vision boards and it just looks like a manic attack on a poster or something right and it doesn't feel good to the brain or the eye to look at this is something you want to look at and feel positive emotion so make it aesthetically 
pleasing. Like I have a video, the digital, uh, how to create a digital vision board that I will link down below. That's going to help you make it look really, really nice. So when you look at it, it feels good. Uh, one of the tips I mentioned in there is putting those pictures on PowerPoint and then printing it. You could also use something like Canva. What I like about PowerPoint is you can put borders around each one of the pictures as you position them, move them all around together. And that can kind of create white space. Like I create, I use the faded border on my vision boards and that helps create white space for your eye to land. And that makes things a little bit easier, more pleasing to look at is when you have white space instead of just like everything cluttered together on top of each other in the picture, if that makes sense. Um, let me show you guys my vision boards. You see how there's white space around them? That's because I use this border effect on PowerPoint um, that allows the edges to kind of be faded and then has that space in between. Um, so it looks good to, to look at. I also use a lot of muted tones. Um, so for me, aesthetically pleasing, use whatever colors make you happy. Um, and that's going to help you um, look at it more often and have positive emotion, which we know helps us manifest um, when you're thinking about the things that you want. Um, so those are my three things that are not often talked about that I want you to consider when making your um, vision board um, for the next year and let me know how it turns out or if you have any questions, like I said, also watch my other more detailed videos, which I will link below. Next week, I'm going to be talking about how to make your 2022 goals come true, how to manifest your 2022 goals. 2020, 20, 2022 goals. And I'm going to be breaking down each step in the way. I also have a free resource for you to apply the knowledge called my resolutions to manifestations guidebook, which I will be sharing in that video. Heck, I'll even share it here just in case you don't have time to watch it. Um, but if you want to watch the video and walk through it step by step with me, um, that's will be next week. So make sure you're subscribed and you can see that video. It's going to help you do the pre-work to um, doing your vision board. So uh, check that out before you make your vision board um, next week. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And until next video, namaste.